of Malaysia, make sure you head on right over to Tawau, Sabah, because this place is known as the land of seafood. Now, we've got some amazing seafood because we're just right next to the sea and across about a kilometer away is Indonesia. So you can imagine it's a fusion of cultures of Indonesian and Sabahan cuisine and Sabahan and Indonesian seafood. So it's going to be simply amazing. Let's go and explore the town of Tawau. Welcome back with Nita Nuja right here on Best in Town, Tawau Sabah. Now this time, I brought you to an infamous seafood restaurant called Restaurant Sri Titingan. Now Restaurant Sri Titingan, as you can see, is a 100 meter long restaurant. And can you just look at the crowd? Now it's dinner time and people just come flocking here. And I mean really, really flocking. People are still waiting for their turns to be seated and the food just keeps coming in. Now this restaurant is known for its amazing seafood. And when I say amazing seafood, they have a variety from crabs to soft shell crabs, you name it, they have it. Different, different sorts of fish. People come here, they're also known for their very, very famous and delicious steamboat and a variety of styles that they cook their seafood in. Now this place can accommodate approximately about 800 to 8,000 people and it's located right here in Tawa Sabah. So if you do visit this area, make sure you head on down right here because I don't need to say much. The crowd speaks for itself. the steamboat at Sri Tijingan restaurant like I mentioned just have a look at how everybody's enjoying their steamboat Selalu datang makan sini ke? Selalu eh? Orang Sabah ke orang KL? Oh, so tahu juga pasal tempat ni eh? Very popular You know, they're known for their lamb chop Mana daging lamb? Ada tak lamb? This is a lamb? Ini lamb eh? This, no, this lamb I've been told the lamb here is very very succulent and very very juicy of course, Tawau being infamous for its seafood, everything here, you can be rest assured, is very, very fresh. So your seafood, from your sausages, to your fish balls, to your fish meat, to everything that's available right from the sea, this is the place that you want to come and have your dose of a steamboat or fresh seafood. situation fishy fishy situation right here at Pasa Ikan Tawau now when you come to this wet market they have got a variety of seafood and it is also known as the cheapest seafood that you can possibly buy in Malaysia a kilo of prawns just goes up for 25 ringgit and fishes can go up to about 250 ringgit per kilo now that is simply amazing we've got prawns we've got lobsters i even saw puffer fish i don't know whether that's allowed but we have a variety of the seashells we have also scallops and so many more now the produce here is loaded on a daily basis as you can see fishermen come in bringing their fresh produce and load it up in the wet market where people come and buy their fresh seafood now if you do visit Tawa and you want to take back some fresh fresh seafood make sure you head on right down here at Pasa Ikan Tawa the only place in Tawa Sabah where you can get your amazing fresh seafood <laughs> Right here on 
Best in Town, we bring you to a variety of restaurants. And now one special place that I'm bringing you right here right now is the Yasin Curry House located right here in Tawau, Sabah. Now Yasin Curry House is very, very special because they cater to a variety of segment of customers. Now right outside is the usual mama that you would go and hang out right up to 12 midnight or early in the wee hours of the morning. And then they also have their air conditioned area. And this area right here right now is known as the BBIP area. So all your dignitaries, your ministers, all love to come here and have their meals. Now the beauty about Yasin Curry House is they offer a fusion of Malay and Northern Indian food from tandoori to your tikka masala to also your tandoori and your naan, also a variety of mutton, chicken and many many more varieties of fusion Indian, Northern Indian and Malay food. Now when you do visit Tawa Sabah, make sure you head on over right here to Yasin Curry House to experience the variety and segmented areas catered to their customers. Yes in town, yes in Curry House, Tawa. just look like a normal mama restaurant to you. You see the layout and everything, but there's something very special about this little cozy restaurant located right here in Tawau, Sabah. Yes, in house, yes, in Right here, back with me, Sanuja on Best in Town and TV7. Now, Sabah Tawau is known for its amazing seafood. I know we've covered tons of steamboat restaurants, but this one is very special in particular the six steamboat, six star steamboat restaurant. Because as you can see, people flock here to have dinner. It's open from 5 30 to 10 30 onwards, and there's a variety of dishes available 50 to 60 to be exact. And people come here and have their dinner. Now, we've got fresh seafood. Tawau is known for its seafood, so everywhere you go, it's either steamboat or fresh seafood. So when you come here, this is the best place to enjoy your seafood. lovers fret not because the six star steamboat restaurant also serves a meat as you can see fresh meat which has been cut and seasoned to your liking so you may use this take this back to your seats pick whatever you want you look here we have I'm not really sure what this is but we have dried and wet squid we also have I think if I'm not mistaken this is mutton we also have your chicken that has been seasoned and Marinated, as you can see, everything has been marinated here. This is a black pepper lamb. They also have black pepper lamb. You have your beef, and also a variety, two varieties of marinated beef. So for all your meat lovers, you can also come here and enjoy your smoked steamboat meat. So not forgetting, besides seafood, the Six Star Steamboat Restaurant also serves marinated and different sorts of assorted meat. Now we Malaysians love our breakfast. Back home in KL, in the peninsula, we usually have a nasi lemma or mee hoon. But right here in Tawau Sabah, people love to have mee tahu borneo. I'm now standing right here, seated here, and just have a look at this. It's served with egg, just the usual mee goreng, your stir-fried mee. It's served with a side of egg. People can usually even opt to having mee hoon. And the tofu or tahu as we call it is served in a little broth like this black pepper sort of a broth with I think it's a mixture of tochu as well just have a look at this 
and it's stuffed inside with chicken. Just have a look at this. There, just have a look at that. Yummy! Looks really, really good. They have two different types of tofu. The plain white one and the dried tofu that we usually have. The white one's obviously not stuffed with anything. And then they also serve it with a side of dried red chilies. This is stuffed as well. With chicken meat, you can also have the rongsumbat or you can even opt for lady's fingers, stuffed lady's fingers, a bit like your yong tofu. But it's all served in this special bonyo broth made of black pepper and teochew beans. Now this is what the Tawa Sabah people love to have for breakfast here. So everywhere you go in the mornings, you have your mi, tofu, teochew, everywhere. So when you come to Sabah, make sure you head on and try this speciality that they have for breakfast here because I've travelled and taken you all across Malaysia, best in town and we've never seen anything like this culture right here in Tawau Sabah. Now, will you just have a look at the variety of sushis available right here at Tasty Restaurant? Now, this is called wasabi mayo. It's coated in salmon and Japanese rice with a side of cucumber, and they also have a fried flour. And then, of course, it's topped with cherry tomatoes, and a mixture of wasabi and mayonnaise is used for the sauce base. Now, it's served with a side of wasabi and red cabbage, and of course, your shreds of cucumber here as you can see and lastly it's topped with flying fish roe now all the ingredients here I've been told is imported so you can be assured that it's very very fresh and next up we have a dish called hanani which is smoked salmon wrapped with Japanese rice as well and topped with fish roe as you can have here you see they've also drizzled mayo on top of this and it's served with sides of cucumber and also wasabi so if you want to try your Japanese cuisine, you don't have to go particularly to a Japanese restaurant right here in Tawa Osama. You can head on right over to Taste 2 to taste your, your dose of Japanese cuisine. Have a look at this tower story about nuts this is exactly what my dessert is called as you can see we've got toasted bread and it's drizzled with matcha green tea we've got sides and bits of sunflower seed we've got flakes of almonds and of course this is your classic cocoa crunch mm -hmm. topped with vanilla ice cream the matcha green tea here you can see this is matcha green tea um, ice cream and it's just topped and made into like this circular tower to be eaten with drizzles of chocolate sauce. Yes. It's specially made. How do you make the um, inside? The inside? Inti? Yeah, we just frozen it first. Okay. Then we can we can make it. Ah. So when you get mm -hmm. hot, mm -hmm. you can warm it. Ah, so that's the beauty of the beautiful pumpkin pal that yes. just came all over me. Now I love pumpkin pal. And besides that, this one is butter. I am not going to open it for fear of filling on myself but this it's butter power inside yes butter power this maybe, one is very nice in, in maybe what we can do is we can poke it yes okay maybe you can have a look at it oh, oh, oh. is it nice that's really really yummy so this is butter power right yes butter power 
And do you make all your pounds here in the kitchen? No, in our kitchen centre. Ah, so they make it yeah. fresh. All yeah. the ingredients are fresh. Now that's the beauty yes, of our taste too, right? Yes, every day. Mm, everything is freshly made right here at yeah. the restaurant at the back of the kitchen. So Alex, if people were to come here, what is the one dish that you would recommend everybody tries a taste to? And um, what the one dish people must it's try? It's very difficult to choose it, uh -huh. but I recommend for the Western food. Okay. okay Western food, we got the lamb shoulder. Mm -hmm. Lamb shoulder, we come from New Zealand. Ah. Yeah, New Zealand lamb shoulder, and we grill and have a new chef. Right. Uh, yes, this one chef is uh, very experienced for this uh, Western food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, we can try it uh, very new taste, new fashion. Yeah. Mm. So for okay, so he recommends Western food, but from what I can tell you guys is when you come here, you have a variety of cuisine to taste from. So from your pows to your dim sum, you also yeah. have Hong Kong style dim sums that you yes. offer. You also have your Sabindo Indonesian and Malaysian cuisine, and of course your Western cuisines as well. So when you do come over to Tawau Sabah, the one place that I definitely recommend you come and try your food is definitely right here at Taste Two Restaurant, Restaurant and, and Bar. Bar. Thank yes. you so much, Alex. It's been such a pleasure. You're and thank you for having us here. Yeah, and thank you also. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I'm now standing right here at the food center in Perdana Jaya Tawa. And as you can see, we've got a variety of cuisines available from dim sum to quick stuff. We've also got tepanyankis. There's also fish head noodles and chicken rice. Now, I've got something very special in store for me right here at the food center. Let's go see what's in store. types of nasi lemak as we know but in Tawau there's this one very special kind we have nasi lemak kukus, nasi lemak biasa, nasi lemak ayam, nasi lemak ketam but have you heard of a nasi lemak ayam baka? now this is the first time I'm hearing it myself and right at this place will you just have a look at this nasi lemak ayam baka? so it's prepared like usual this nasi lemak but once they place it on the clay pot it is placed on top of the stove to be bakar, as we would call it, Malaysian style. So it's served with chicken, as you can see, steamed chicken, with a side of egg, lots of peanuts, and if I'm not mistaken, this is potatoes, right? Shredded potatoes which have been fried, and with your really, really soft, fragrant white rice. Now, another special dish served here right at the food center is this little cocoa dinosaur, as you can have a look. It's served with sweet corn. There's also grass jelly in there. I'm not going to stir it up too much. There's also chendol. I see chendol. There's red beans. I think it's just like a fusion of your chendol and ABC. But they've topped it with lots and lots of cocoa powder and milk as well and lots of condiments right below. So it looks really, really yummy. So after you've had your nasi lemak ayam bakar, you can just have this to cool down. See, it's a very homely affair in here. Family and friends can come and sit down and have a karaoke session, which I think is beautiful during the weekends when you're stressed out. People just like to come, have some snacks, have some food, just chill out and relax. Now, this place is about a hundred years old, but it's maintained so well you can't even tell. Hi! Sedang makan apa? Tak makan ke? You tak makan? <laughs> oh, diet! What are you having? This uh, uh, lamb? Chicken. Gr like real lamb. I don't think it doesn't look like chicken. It <laughs> looks like lamb. lamb. <laughs> How is it? Good? Um, delicious. How do you find this whole concept? Do you enjoy this area? Do you enjoy something like this? Because I don't think they have anything like this in this area, correct? Yes, the environment is so mm -hmm. unique. Mm -hmm. 
And so you would like to come in karaoke as well? She's shy, it's okay. Anyhow, enjoy your dinner and thank you so much. <laughs>